Hello Angel. Write in the comments the phrase, I expand my aura. When we consider that the energy emitted by the individual impacts those around them and constitutes an essential part of their identity, the importance of channeling efforts to enhance this energy becomes evident, cultivating desirable qualities and neutralizing undesirable ones. This becomes even more crucial when remembering that, according to the law of cause and effect, energetic vibrations influence the individual's mind, amplifying the mental states that originated them. From any perspective, it is fundamental for personal growth and character formation to develop personal energy in accordance with occult principles. In this process of energetic development, we find two interconnected phases. The first consists of directing energy into the aura with positive vibrations, maintaining clear and repeated mental images of desirable ideas and feelings. The second phase involves associating these mental images with colors that correspond to the feelings and ideas, thus increasing their intensity. The first phase is more familiar to most, as it relates to the power of thought in shaping the individual's mind. It is a recognized psychological principle that, just like physical muscles, the mind develops with exercise. Furthermore, the individual's thoughts affect those around them and influence the events they attract to themselves. These teachings are aligned with hidden wisdom, which recognizes the influence of the mind on external reality. Each practitioner can apply their own methods to develop their personal energy, thus obtaining amplified results. Flooding the aura with positive vibrations and corresponding colors charges it with energy and power, affecting both the individual's mind and interactions with others. The second phase, less known to the general public, is based on the relationship between colors and mental states, as described in astral auric colors. It is essential to deeply understand this relationship and be able to associate each mental state with a specific color. Furthermore, it is important to understand the physical, mental, and spiritual effects of colors and test their influence individually. One should approach this research with interest and seriousness and, by remaining attentive and receptive, will discover fascinating facts about the subject everywhere. In their daily occupations and life, they will notice numerous evidences of the concept and gradually accumulate a diversity of experiences exemplifying each hue and its corresponding mental disposition. They will be abundantly rewarded for the effort dedicated to this investigation, which will soon turn more into delight than work. After mastering this phase of the subject, the seeker should conduct an honest and thorough self-assessment, outlining their strengths and weaknesses, identifying aspects to be developed, and those needing restraint. They need to discern if there is a need for growth in physical, mental, and spiritual terms, and to what extent. After elaborating this personal profile, they should then employ the principles of saturating the aura with the color vibrations indicated by their self-analysis and prescription. The final step is quite simple once the general idea behind it is understood. It merely consists of forming the clearest possible mental image of the desired color or colors and then projecting the vibrations into the aura through the simple power of will. This does not require clenching fists or furrowing brows in effort. Will, in the occult sense, can be considered as a command, leaving the rest to the mechanism of will and mind. Suppress doubt and fear, then the effective command does the work of triggering the will. This, incidentally, is an important occult secret with wide application. Seek to deeply understand its profoundly important meaning.
Mental visualization of colors can be materially aided by concentrating on physical objects of the appropriate color. By focusing attention and gaze on a red flower, for example, or a green leaf in another case, one can form a clear and precise mental image of that specific color. This, accompanied by the will and the demand that the vibrations of that color permeate the aura, will be effective in achieving the desired result. Have elements around you that exhibit the desired colors and your attention will naturally absorb their impression, even while thinking or performing other tasks. Maximum immersion in the idea and presence of the desired color will allow you to acquire the habit of creating the mental image and its vibration. A little practice and experience will soon provide you with the necessary understanding to achieve the best results. Patience, persistence, and genuine and continuous interest, these are the key elements to success. As the seeker delved deeper into this study of colors and auric vibrations, he discovered a universe of possibilities unfolding before him. Each hue, each shade, carried with it a unique potency, capable of influencing not only his own mind but also the world around him. It was as if he were unraveling the deepest secrets of his own being, uncovering invisible layers of himself and the cosmos. Over time, his abilities to manipulate and direct colors became more refined. He learned to tune his mind to higher frequencies, enveloping himself in a radiant aura of light and energy. It was as if he were weaving threads of light, constructing a protective armor around himself while simultaneously radiating a vibration of harmony and balance. As he deepened his practice, he began to notice subtle changes in his everyday life. Interactions with others became smoother, more genuine. His presence exuded a calm tranquility, a magnetism that drew others to him. He became a beacon of positivity in a world often overshadowed by negativity. Yet, he also learned to recognize the responsibility that came with this power. He understood that every thought, every emotion, left an indelible mark on his aura, influencing not only his own journey but also the journey of those around him. He committed to cultivating only the highest vibrations, nurturing his inner being with love, compassion, and gratitude. As he continued his journey of self-discovery, he realized that true power lay not in external manipulation but rather in internal transformation. It was through the cultivation of virtues such as patience, kindness, and humility that he found the true essence of his soul. And as he became more aligned with his authentic self, his aura shone with an even more radiant light, illuminating the path for others to follow. So, he discovered that the true secret of aura development lay not just in manipulating colors and vibrations, but rather in the journey of self-discovery and self-transformation. It was in delving into the depths of his being that he unearthed the true beauty and power of his own inner light. And as he shared this light with the world, he became a beacon of hope and inspiration for all those who crossed his path. He realized that true power resided not in external manipulation, but in internal transformation. It was through cultivating virtues like patience, kindness, and humility that he found the true essence of his soul. And as he became more aligned with his authentic self, his aura glowed with an even more radiant light, illuminating the path for others to follow. But his journey was not without challenges. As he delved deeper into his own essence, he confronted aspects of himself that he had long avoided. Buried fears, unhealed wounds, forgotten shadows emerged to the surface, clamoring for healing and integration. Yet, 
He embraced these challenges as opportunities for growth and transformation. With courage and determination, he faced his deepest fears, confronted his darkest shadows, and embraced his wounds with compassion. Each step toward acceptance and forgiveness was a step toward inner freedom. As he freed himself from the chains of the past, his aura expanded even further, radiating a healing and renewing energy. He became a catalyst for transformation, an agent of positive change in the world around him. His example inspired others to look inward, to confront their own inner demons, and to embrace their own journey of self-discovery. And so, he realized that true magic lay not in controlling the external world, but in mastering the inner world. By cultivating love, compassion, and gratitude within himself, he became a conduit for divine energy, a living expression of the creative power of the universe. Every interaction, every encounter became an opportunity to spread light and love, to elevate collective consciousness, and to create a more harmonious and compassionate world. His journey of self-discovery became a journey of service, a mission to help others awaken to their own inner divinity. And so, he continued his journey, navigating life's currents with grace and serenity, knowing that wherever he went, his light would shine as a beacon of hope and inspiration for all those who crossed his path.